Hello and welcome to episode 22 of my podcast, um, The Pocket Stylist. I'm Lisa Talbot and you are very welcome today because I am chatting to Helinka of Unspoken Rosebud. Um, and I'm going to let Helinka actually introduce herself and tell us more about what Unspoken Rosebud is. And then we're going to get into a little bit more chat about her beautiful brand um, and why she started it and also um, the beautiful benefits so good morning Helinka how are you first of all good morning Lisa yeah I'm I'm well and dandy thank you and thanks for the opportunity to be on your podcast oh you're more than welcome you're away from me aren't you because I think you're north and I'm south absolutely we're up in Yorkshire ah I got my, my the people that we got our um our Rottweiler from live in Yorkshire oh brilliant it's a good place to visit and stay I know, I think we've seen a lot of it, haven't we, as well, you know, over the past year, lots of people, when they had the opportunity to walk, came to the Yorkshire Dales, and I think it really, again, highlighted the, the beauty of our countryside, and, and it definitely did it from a Yorkshire point of view, didn't it? Absolutely, and like you're saying, it's the coastal walks as well, they're just brilliant. I know you've got some amazing ones down south as well, but I'm a northerner, so I like north best. Sorry. And and you know what I think, but I think that's what's so lovely about what we all do. We can kind of come into contact with each other. It doesn't matter where we're based. So listen, tell everybody a little bit about your beautiful brand, Unspoken Rosebud, and tell us how you came up with that name. Right. So I was diagnosed with bowel cancer in June 2013. And then after surgeries and radiotherapy and such, it's left me with a stoma. So once I'd recovered from the operations, I started looking out for nice lingerie that would complement the bra and knickers that I wear because I love to wear matching. To me, it just seems a normal thing to do because you feel amazing once you've got matching underwear on, matching lingerie, you just look stunning. And then Unspoken Rosebud, the name, well, that was a bit of a nightmare to be fair um, because we thought of loads and loads of names, but they were all taken. But we decided on unspoken because it's not talked about. People don't like to talk about a stoma because it's a, a dirty topic and it's just not nice. And the rosebud is what nurses used to call stomas many years ago. Ah. Um, yeah, so that's how they look when they're out protruding out of the body. So it just made sense just to put the two together and hence the name. That's really interesting, isn't it? And I and you know what, you're you're so right because underwear it just makes us feel amazing, doesn't it? And, and you know what? The majority of it, nobody sees. Nobody sees our underwear apart from maybe our partners or our husbands or, you know, or our wives or anything like that. But actually having really nice fitting underwear and beautiful feeling underwear makes us feel great before we've even got to putting on our clothes. Well, that's it. It's the underwear that makes the day. It's the underwear. If you know you have got something amazing on underneath, you can wear a sack. It doesn't matter because you feel amazing because you've got the, the laundry that you want to wear that yeah. makes, just boosts your confidence up. It's daft, but it's so true. Yeah, but do you know what? It's, it's not daft because at the end of the day, it's all about how it makes us feel. And so if you think about, you know, from, from what I do when we, we work with clients and we dress them and we make them feel good, whether they're wearing H&M or whether they're wearing Prada, it doesn't matter. It's how somebody feels. Now, I know from um, working with a few ladies that have got the stoma, sometimes you have that the slight protruding can, you know, where it's sometimes can start to come out, can't it? And be a little bit more um, visible. Let's use the word visible. So from my perspective, it's about creating the shapes that allow the lady to feel confident that it's, it's not visible and everything like that. From, and again, then comes the confidence with the lady. Your lingerie, how did you almost identify the products that you wanted to sell? Did you start with... Um, knickers did you start with like bras how did it it kind of come about did you was there a real almost like a light bulb moment that you, you said do you know what I've got to get this one hero product and then I can create and, and help people down the line 
Well, my daughter and I went and did some training. We could sew anyway, but when it comes to laundry, that's a total, de total kettle of fish. So we went and did training on how to make bras and how to make uh, knickers. And I have to say, even though they look very simple to knickers, God, they're a nightmare to make. And, and I didn't want to make the right big, big knickers because yeah. you can actually buy those. And I just thought, that's not what I'd wear. I want to wear what I would have worn before I had the stoma. So I, I made myself the bands. And then I spoke to a business advisor and he was saying, well, why don't you make your bands first? Because then you can show there's a market for them. So okay. then he was finding all the different laces and all the different uh, cotton jerseys and such and silks using what I regard as normal everyday laundry materials. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't want to wear lace? Who oh, doesn't absolutely. want to wear silks? You know, to me, it was just an absolute no brainer. And like you're saying, it's just to hold the stoma back in place and also help with when it does start to work and it protrudes out that little bit, just hold that back that little bit more for you. Then you can go, right, okay, then I need to nip to the bathroom, sort myself out and look brilliant and amazing again. Yeah. So that's, uh, that was why that happened. Wow. So tell me, you, you said then about how you went and learned to, you know, you trained on how to make bras and knickers as well. So do you still, you don't, do you hand make now or do you, is it now with a manufacturer? How, how has the business grown? Where, where do you make? I make upstairs in my loft. I've had, we had it converted from my daughter's bedroom and then um, I decided that she's moved out years ago and I thought, I can use this space up here. Nobody has to come up. So I can have it like many, many creative people. It has bits and pieces all over the place, but I know where everything is. So it doesn't yeah, yeah. matter. And I make at home. I do all of the making at the moment at home in my little sanctuary. Wow. So, so do you know what's really lovely? You make it with love. Your products are made with love for people that you, for ladies, sorry, that you can absolutely relate to. So in a, in a way, do you have like, can you make bespoke to certain ladies as well? So if ladies got in contact with you and said, Helinka, you know, I'm this shape, I'm that size, this is what I'd like. Do you go down that road as well? Or do you keep very much to your standard kind of um, collections? To be fair, I have um, adapted for people, because like ladies, because obviously we get the pear shape. Yeah. And such of else, so there is that, that, um, that does need tweaking and, and adjusting. Or people might say to me, I love this particular design, but the middle, like the cotton jerseys, they'll say, can you make the middle longer? Because yeah. I'm taller, but it will fit if you can make it longer. So I do do adapt. Um, there was the one lady who wanted me to add some knickers within it. So she could wear it as a bottom part of, part of a knicker and then yeah. up with the band. So that's something that we're exploring at the moment. Um, so people will throw ideas at me. Like I'm working with a stoma nurse in um, Boston and she asked me to make um, a band that's made out of the same materials as, as a bikini. Oh. So then people then, ladies can then wear the normal bikinis and then just wear the band over and then off they go. So, because not everybody wants to wear a swimming costume, which I get. Yeah. So I, I do adapt and I do change. And like you say, my stoma bag covers, which I just find absolutely amazing, is that there's the standard ones that are out there. There's so many different size stoma bags, so many different shaped stoma bags. And I do at least four different sizes in different manufacturers. So if somebody's saying, I can't find a, bag, a stoma bag cover to fit this bag, will you make? I just say, send it to me, I'll make the pattern and I will make the product for you. And do you know what, that's what's so lovely, isn't it? Because, you know, from, from what I do where, you know, I, I dress ladies and the ladies that I work with who have had and have got the stoma bags, it's the, the main priority is making that person feel confident, you know, in the exactly what they're wearing. And, and also from my perspective, it's about using the high street retailers, the shopping centers, and being able to say to those ladies, do you know what? You can wear exactly what everybody else is wearing, but we're gonna use the styles and the shapes that are out there that work with your personality. Because very much like you said, you wanted your lingerie 
to be the same that you wore before you had the stoma and obviously now. So it's very much the same with clothes. Ladies don't suddenly want to change what they wear and how they wear it because they now have a stoma. It's about giving them confidence and shape and all of that. So it, from your point of view, it starts from literally the lingerie and then I come along and I work my magic with regards to the styles and the shapes and the colors and, and all that type of thing. But predominantly the end result, isn't it, is to make somebody feel good and feel confident. And it's also, we're feminine. We've yeah. had this major surgery, which sometimes you've not had a choice on. Sometimes you have had, a, have had a choice on. But you want to feel pretty. You want to feel sexy. You want to feel elegant again. And having this bag stuck to your tummy doesn't actually cut it. So that's where I come in and go, look, here, this can add this, all this value to you. It can boost your confidence. The amount of times I get comments from ladies saying, you have no idea how this has improved my life. I can now walk around, because t-shirts ride up, as you know, when you're stretching about and such of it else. And they don't always want to wear the high-waisted trousers or the high, really high skirts. And they know that can go shopping and pick stuff on the top shelf and it doesn't matter because the bag is always covered with something beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you source your fabrics? Because you, you mentioned about the lace and you mentioned about the silk. You know, where do you source your fabrics? From all over the place? I am, well, when lockdown happened, well, that absolutely threw my head because I used to go shopping to Dewsbury and into Shipley because I'm a very hands-on, touchy, I like the feel yeah. of this. Well, obviously that threw that out the window. But I found um, a brilliant place in London um, who stocks amazing lace and I've got a really good relationship and he'll drop me a text and go, I've got this in, what do you think? And like I say, um, and then I was talking to a friend who's in manufacture, who makes her own baby clothes and I said to her, I'm really really stuck for getting older cotton jersey and she's put me on to somebody as well so it's just it's all British because I want to try and keep everything in Britain because we do do well we manufacture in Britain maintain that yeah absolutely and you know what it's it's about you know it is isn't it it's about keeping what we can in Britain because like you said we've got some amazing skill sets we've got some amazing manufacturers and, and you know what, it is always lovely to buy British, you, you know, it, it's the way, we know that we can't do it all the time, but I think where we can, it's wonderful to support British manufacturing, I 100% I agree with you. And I think people, you know, I think people like to support it as well, so, you know, from your perspective, I was just thinking about what you said about your, um, the lady that said to you, you can't, they, they can't believe how much difference and how good they feel just by wearing a pair of your knickers. And it's, and it's really interesting, isn't it? We, we talk about that and it's, it's kind of a, flow away, a throwaway comment. We go, you know what, just because of your knickers. But it is amazing. And I go back time and time and time again, you know, from a stylist point of view, having something that makes you feel good, whether it's a necklace, whether it's a pair of trousers, whether it's a bra, whether it's a pair of knickers, makes such an amazing difference to your day. And I don't think sometimes we understand how much of a difference that one piece of clothing or garment can, can make to somebody's life. Absolutely, and like you say, my lingerie, it's just a small part of it, but it just boosts people up so much. I do have a small range for men. I don't have a huge range for men. It's more for the ladies. But like you're saying, it's, we have a right to feel feminine and pretty and just hold his head up high and say, yeah, we've gone through a major surgery, but I'm still here. I'm loud, I'm proud and I'm happy. Yeah, wonderful. And you know what? And you're doing that. You're helping other ladies say that by the, the piece of underwear that you're, you know, you're creating. Um, Helinka, where can people find you? Are you? Have you got your website you can tell people about? Where can they find you if they want to come and you know, have a chat with you or want to have a look at anything that you do? Um, I am on Etsy at the moment. Um, okay. My website's not brilliant and I'm getting that tinkered with and played with. I know they say to you, it's better to have it out there, even though it's not brilliant, but hey ho, there's a, there's a standard. So I'm on Etsy under Unspoken Rosebud. Okay. And Instagram, aren't you? 
Yeah, I am on Instagram. If people want to, but with with Instagram and Etsy, you can all sort of drop me messages and talk to me, and I'll advise and help and just you know encourage people, you know what might be best for them, whatever they look, you know how they're looking for. Um, because people now are coming across me and saying, can I do your um bag covers or your ostomy belts and such? So people are helping me expand, which is amazing that they feel confident enough to say to me, hang on a second, can you do this for a different product? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I must be sending out some decent messages for people to have that confidence to say, yeah, I'll speak to her. Yeah, but do you know what you've done as well? You've brought it into a public arena. Like you said, the whole unspoken piece, you know, where you said unspoken, actually what you're doing now is you are speaking about it. And what's lovely is the ladies that are on your kind of have come into contact with you feel confident to speak about it. So what's absolutely lovely is, you know, not only are you creating this wonderful product that makes people feel great, you're highlighting that whole, um, you know, for ladies that they can feel confident in talking about it as well, which is, it's a double whammy, isn't it? You know, I think it's fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. And it, it, it's like saying, we have a right to feel normal again, and we have a right to be proud and a right to be having a choice. I think that's the big thing, because like you say, the surgery, potentially you haven't had the choice, but to go and say, right, I can wear that. And that's going to help everything else look amazing mm -hmm. and make me brilliant. So it's, I just want people to have a choice. Yeah. And, and you know what, that's what's lovely. So from your perspective, it, <clears throat> they have, they have a choice to feel good, a choice to feel feminine and how lovely that, you know, we, we just need to keep telling everybody about you so that they can, you know, come and come and find you and come and get some advice from you and, and that type of thing. And you know what, you know, it's incredibly obviously heartwarming that they can relate, you can relate to those ladies because you've been there. So you can, can't, you can say to them, can't you, do you know what? I know how you feel, but this is how I can help you. And I think that's, you know, that's really, really, it is, it's really heartwarming as well. It's a heartwarming story to a really beautiful brand. Thank you so much for that. That is just amazing to, to hear it. It's, it, it's humbling when people give you really beautiful comments back as well because to me all I've done is I'm making a band that complements what you're wearing I make I have got big plans for further on but at the moment in time I just want ladies to feel confident and happy and like I say when you're having intimate moments not to give two whistles about it and just think I can do this because yeah. it's covered because with the best will in the world, not everybody can handle having a storm. I mean, about partners or family members or such of it else. They find it quite scary. So to be able to put something over that's beautiful. Yeah. It's like, oh. I mean, I had one lady, because um, I do a specialised wedding area. So if you have um, whatever colour your weddings are, I can add beads that match your wedding outfits. Um, and one lady said, this is the only time my stoma has been a benefit because I've got a beautiful accessory. Oh, and I just thought, oh, bless. Yeah. I but you can, you can tell there is love that goes into your product. And I think that's, that, that's just, it just comes across, Helinka, you know, you can, you can hear the love of what you do because you are 100% making a difference. So um, I have, Absolutely, thoroughly enjoyed talking to you today. I really have. So people can find you on Etsy under Unspoken Rosebud. They can find you on Instagram. Same thing, isn't it? Unspoken Rosebud. And um, please, for the for anyone that's listening, if you want to get hold of Halinka, go to both those places. Um, have a look. It's absolutely beautiful. And also ping her a message if you want to, and just make contact with her um, and follow her on you know, especially on Instagram. I do. So um, you know, actually do that as well. But Halinka, thank you for taking the time to chat to me today. Um, please, everybody, um, like we said, you know, have a have a quick peek at what Halinka does. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this week's podcast, and I will see you all next week thanks everybody thank you helinka thank you elisa real appreciate it you're welcome bye, bye.